Hello traders, this is Mike with Tactical Traders doing some weekend scans for the upcoming week of August 17th. Just looking at a couple different tickers for a possible day trade setup of next week or maybe a very short term swing within the next five trading days. So right now I'm looking at NVAX and I actually did trade this on Friday and it was a profitable trade and this actually just made me, uh, it made it catch my eye. And I saw a couple areas of interest that I just want to share with you and hopefully you can take some value out of it. So uh, just to start off, we definitely saw that uh, on Friday's price action it had a nice gap up, very strong move. I think the gap up was like 14 bucks or something like that, it was, but it was a very powerful move. Um, and then the price uh, shot right up uh, a little bit after opening to I think just above 150. And uh, it was a nice powerful move and then the price hit 150 and pulled back a little bit. But it was more or less just a pullback, it wasn't really you know, a big uh, like pump or dump that you see when it kind of just gives back all of its gains. So I'm actually pretty interested in this uh, ticker on the bullish side. And I wanted to highlight some areas of interest and what I'm going to be looking at personally going into next week. Um, so before I really map out any possible trade plan, I just want to like really see the areas that the price is having problems getting past. And that's the areas I'm going to be looking at for a break above. Um, so right here on Friday's price action, the high of this candle is... Uh, 151. All right, I didn't even think it got that high. I thought it was a little bit less. All right, so 151. And then in the past, we see that there's a couple areas where it's been tested as support. I'm going to say, let's try to line this up. Yeah, it looks pretty good right about there. Uh, around 151.30. Uh, we'll just call it 150.150 just because it's a nice whole number right there, nice solid number. Um, so this is the area of resistance that I see, and this is with the point that I'm going to be looking at for a break above to go along uh, to make a bullish trade. And uh, another area I just want to highlight, um, so this purple line right here, that's the 200 SMA. And I want the price to stay above that. That's a big indicator for me that it's going to be remaining bullish. Um, however, when the price is below an SMA, SMA, that can definitely act as resistance. But as time goes on, this is going to come down to that 150, 150, 152 area. So that's, again, a reason why I'm really going to be watching this level um, and just making sure that it's a confirmed bullish move. And I won't enter it until that area is broken because I like to wait um, for confirmation on a trade, especially when I'm making such short-term day trades or very quick swing trades. All right. And another uh, couple areas. Um, we're just going to switch this up so you can see a little bit. So right here we had a, a low at uh, about 118, and this is this is a this is pre-market, after market, and some hours. So it's a pretty solid area. And then in the next day it seemed to have that nice bullish move. Price held there, and then another gap up, and the price held here. Uh, so this is a nice little step, uh, you know, stair step action kind of going. And just as a rough um, drawing, a nice uh, nice uptrend. So we're starting to see, um, you can call it stairs going up or actually a, a triangle pattern um, forming here. And so triangle patterns are normally confirmation pa I mean, I'm sorry, continuation patterns. And because we're trading on th this on a shorter term, I'm going to be looking at this orange line, which is a 50 SMA, which is obviously an incline, a nice bullish trend. So I'm assuming that this is going to be a continuation of a bullish trend. So I'm going to be looking at the break of 151.50, maybe 152, depending on how the price action works and how confident I feel at it, before going long. And some areas above that, once we get past the 152 area, uh, we have some definitely some room to run. Um, I see this going up to probably the 165 area. Uh, that's the next area that I see um, you know, possibly having some resistance. So we'll just map that out real quick. Uh, here we are. There we are. All right, perfect. So yeah, so once this breaks past, we have some definitely some room to uh, make some money on. So again, this is going to be a, a, a bullish um, uh, trade to, that I'm going to be watching personally. And hopefully we can make a good dollar off this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took some uh, information from it and had some type of value. Uh, if you did like the video, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, comment. Tell me what you think about it. If you agree, disagree. Um, I'd love to have a nice discussion about, you know, what possibly could happen in the future, um, you know. Whenever there's a seller and a buyer, both have the uh, same idea that they're right. So I love to hear other people's thoughts and traders' thoughts. Sometimes it highlights even something for me. Um, we're also on StockTwits and Facebook and Instagram at tactical underscore traders. Uh, on the Instagram, we pr uh, post our profit and loss daily as well as a couple other memes. 
And if you really want to get into it with us and want to see our screen shared and our uh, daily live trade alerts with our entry stop losses and price targets, please join our, uh, our private chat room. Uh, you can get access to tacticaltraders.com. Well, thank you for watching and like and subscribe. Good luck, traders.